In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective concepts in Madden 23. I call this the hallmark passing concept of Madden 23 because it encompasses everything that we've learned up to this point this year to create in it with, within itself the best passing concept in Madden, in my opinion. And that is the play slot post out of gun tight. You could find this play in both the Washington and the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks to become a member and it gets you access to all of our ebooks, but also gets you access to all of our updates to those ebooks. So whatever we drop anything new, uh, we release updates to you guys via the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description. All right, let's get into it. Slot post. Here's the setup that I want to go over today. And uh, this, what we're going to do is we're going to slant the uh, slot receiver. We're going to streak this left receiver uh, or fade him. You can do either. I'm going to talk about both in just a second. Uh, and then also we're going to just simply motion this receiver out. Now, the beauty of this play is this running back is actually on a really good stock route. It's this little stock kind of rounded out route that's going to pull zones. It gets in a soft spot against man and zone. And also the the real power uh, concept in this play is, of course, the slant post concept. Now, this motion out little route to Michael Irvin over here on the right side, if you see one-on-one -on -one coverage, you can uh, try to ag this, okay? I'm not very good at ag catching, but you can try to ag catch this one-on-one. -on -one. If you are good at ag catching, this is probably the best route to ag um, in the game. All you're gonna do is just highball it. When it cuts, you wanna do something like that right there. And if I don't have KOs, that can be a really consistent route for me to be able to take advantage of against the defense. So if you want to put your running back on just a – if you want to just block your running back or you have some flexibility with him specifically in terms of what he can do for you. Um, but the beauty of this is really found in this route to the tight end. This route to the tight end I think is the best man-beating route in the entire game. And uh, you're going to see why here in just a second. So what we're going to do – is we're going i have inside shades all over the field defensively uh, but what you'll see here even against the inside shade i can throw that with a pass lead inside or freeform inside and this gets into such a soft spot against a lot of different man coverages as well as zone coverages so that post route is super super important if they use her the post route which they have to use her the post route they have to use her the post route if they choose to use her the post route, then this route to Marquez Vada Scantling is going to be wide open or your slot receiver wide open across the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Now, the beauty of this play is not just in the fact that it's a great man beater, but let's say that they're playing you uh, in some press man to man. If you have this short out elite ability, oftentimes you're going to be able to score a touchdown. It doesn't matter if they have shades or even KOs. You see here he lights up. And I'm going to freeform and highball this up and over to give my receiver a shot over the top. You could also just simply um, highball it if, if the space is there. But this is something that you want to always have in your back pocket. If they're going to play you in press man and they're not going to put safety help over top, this route to Julian Edelman oftentimes is going to have a chance uh, to get over the top of the of the corner, okay? Um, now, again, the, if they put safety help over top, then it's not going to be as good by any means. So if they put like a middle third from that safety on the left side, or if they put something like that over there, then it's not going to be as powerful. But the beauty of this is this takes away adjustments they can do underneath to be able to stop some of the combos that you're running. So as you can see right here, let's see if I can freeform it up and over. There we go. Finally got it. Um, but as you can see, great play for cover zero press. So now they have to play either backed off coverage or they have to play what's known as shaded down man. And when they play shaded down man, they're going to want to have these two uh, deep half zones. And then the beauty of this slant post concept is because of the route combos that we're putting on the field here, it's really hard to be able to stop both the slant and the post in man or in zone for that matter. Now, speaking of zone, uh, one of the things that I want to go over today is zone coverage, specifically this baseline press cover four and how to attack it. Most people know that you can attack cover three, especially to the short side. This is why we want to run this play with the tight end to the wide side. We want our post running into the short side of the field. What you wanna do is just simply highball this up and over the middle, just like that. Hopefully you drop it just like that. Um, but the beauty of that is because of the fact that it takes a little bit of time for this post to develop, 
the beauty of that is it gives the clear out route time to clear out the zones. So you'll see here, he's gonna clear out the zones. This tight end's gonna run underneath it. You wanna ag back to the ball, very important. And as you can see, you have a really good zone beater. Now, the other thing that I wanna go over is what I think makes this running back route so, so good. And that is the fact that this running back route is gonna get in a very soft spot against zone coverage as well so the beauty of this slant route and this running back route is it creates almost a slant flat concept and what you'll see is if they're not playing hard flats you could just check down to the back out of the backfield and you see how the zones just drift away from him and that can be a nice little run after catch for about 10 to 15 yards so now what they're going to do typically is they're going to play hard flats to have to take away the running back route and then when they have to take away the running back route via hard flats now you're going to notice that this little slant is going to get in this really soft spot about 20 yards down the field um, in a place where not very many people are going to have zones now let's say that they do something like this this is kind of the natural um i guess compensation for something like that and that's going to be a double mabel coverage or a double flat coverage over the middle of the field now the beauty of this slant route is you can pass lead this route in a lot of different directions. Another thing that you have going for you is this route to Michael Urban over the top. So if you are getting cover two, you're gonna freeform that to the outside. And if they don't have any kind of KOs, that's got a pretty good shot at attacking cover two over the top. It doesn't matter if it's mabled or not, you're gonna have a pretty good shot at being able to attack that coverage. Now the next thing that I wanna show you is um you know what if okay maybe they roll into thirds or maybe you know they, they make adjustments and they're able to stop michael irvin the problem then becomes the depths at which these this slant post concept is going to run you can throw that slant all the way across the field and then you can actually ag it in front of the cloud flat if they don't have flat zone knockout that's going to be a fairly consistent play even if they do have flat zone knockout you can throw it obviously before uh the player actually gets to that space that space as well um, and then this route to the tight end is a very deep post route it's not the same as a hot route master post route hot route master post routes are going to be able to be able to be guarded by 30 yard cloud flats and stuff like that look how deep this post runs if i high point this you see that it's going to run over 30 yards it's going to run about 45 yards down the field on the sideline so you're able to attack every style of defense with this concept and it's truly one of the most unstoppable plays in Madden 23. If you want to learn more about how to run the gun tight offense, there's a reason that every single player in the MCS, pretty much with the exception of maybe one or two, were running a significant amount of compression. We teach you everything about tight in the Patreon. Links in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates. So make sure to go check out the Patreon down in the description.